Let's holler at him. What's the deal, man? Let's crack a lag in it. Good. Salute, salute, salute. I ain't know you, man. Hey, hey, check it out. I've been checking y'all out for about, about an hour now, bro. You know, I always stay fucking with you. Yeah. And look here, man. Y'all saying some real shit, man. But uh, I just wanted to say two things. And it and y'all can ask me some questions, but it's some shit I can't answer. You know what I'm saying? No, facts, facts, facts. But but first of all, like, ain't no snitching, man. Hell nah. Before that video came out, like we had a big powwow. Of course, you know, a nigga got both, they both my bros. I love them both. You know what I mean? So it's like I get them on the phone, we talk for like four hours. So it was a conversation with me, Kiki, Trey, and Ro, you know. If you look to the interview, he said it. Man, we got to a place to where we was laughing and joking. You feel what I'm saying? This is before the video. So, with the with, when that video came out, it killed all that shit, dog. The My nigga who put that video out stopped Houston from one of the greatest things that could have happened again, happening, taking a negative and turning it into a positive. Because if your phone rang 25 million times a day about the same thing, you have to make a statement, man, so that everybody can just leave you the fuck alone, man. You know what I'm saying? So that's what that was about, man. Like, we got love for Trey, man, but the motherfuckers who put that out, it just went from embarrassing to humiliation, bro. Yes, you know man. what I'm saying? And then, you know, the way it was put out. But Trey didn't put that out. You know what I'm saying? It's a motherfucker who told us to, that he going to hire him to talk to his lawyer. You know what I'm saying? So we find out who did it, and he sold the shit to TMZ. You know what I'm saying? So, oh, you know they was gonna do that. That bag. Yeah, wow. They, yeah, they yeah. Like they, money they, hunger, man. Yeah, yeah. They tripped all the way out, man. I apologize. We was on. We was on motherfucking. We finna get past this. Yeah, they not related cousins, but they they cousins. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, so it's that's... like through the years it just because like to be honest, I don't know why they mad at each other and they don't either. It's been going on so long. It's just you know, time passing. Fifteen passes. years. They 15 grew apart, years. you know. So if another motherfucker tell me something that that, that y'all saying, after so many years, I'm a damn to start believing it because so many people telling me the same or different things. So they just grew apart, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, let me ask you. Know, a can I ask you a question? Uh, go, go ahead, fam. Uh, do you think? The reason because this fight escalated this week, last weekend, because of all this he say and all this people putting stuff in their ears and stuff like that? Nah, this was about J Time, man. You know what I'm saying? This was about that interview he did with uh, Scarface. You right. know what I'm saying? So that's what all this about. It was an incident before this that people really don't know about, like at a barbershop that didn't transpire, we talked about it. And I guess, you know, j Ton wasn't cool with the outcome or all parties wasn't cool with the outcome because, you know, once they seen him, you know, this happened, you know what I'm saying? But it, it wasn't even about Trey and Roe, you know? I just, this one, this is what just made it. <laughs> Trey just being a big brother standing up for his little brother, you know? Uh -huh. I, get, I get that, but I'll be honest with you, man. And, 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 and you know, me on the outside looking in, I do what I do. I speak my piece. I try to keep this shit straightforward down the middle every single time. I and I love on, how you do it too. I, uh, I love I, how you do it. And, and, and I just spoke about I didn't put J Punk, J Ton piece out there and everything he going through. I see. And, 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 and like I said, I get it and I understand what why J Ton would be mad. Exactly. But, it's, this is the problem here. The fact that it went public is the problem. It, 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 I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you why. I understand J. Ton pain. I never been through that. I ain't never been to prison. Now, I can think like, I man, I did two years for you, and, and I don't even know you need to know who who really did what in that situation. In his mind, he believed that. So in your mind, if you believe that, whether it's true or not, it's that. So 
you looking for your get back in some form of fashion with a nigga. And the way he pulled it out after all that went on, but bro, I ain't gonna lie. On camera, this shit look like y'all niggas tripping over some shit like that. Like y'all you know this happened, you know this happened in 2005, right? Exactly. So that's what that's what I'm saying. Everybody knows this shit been happening. Y'all all in the parking lot fighting and yelling over man, this nigga got me locked up and got me two years. And you saying this out loud. And it's like y'all came and clicked on a nigga at a public event in front of civilians and innocent bystanders over yeah. that. It just don't look good on and camera. Man, and man, man, you know, man, go down like that in the streets. It do go down like that in the streets. Sometimes it's on site. I get that, but for public perception, Fifty Cent Tycoon Weekend, y'all pulled up and clicked on a nigga about some shit. That's been going that went on in 2005 in front of the whole world now because somebody recorded it. It don't matter what the reason was about the street code. It's like, hold on, man. It's not what you do, it's how you do it. Right. Exactly. Right. Like said, it's straight the truth. He's made him, he's made his name look bad, though. It man. looked uncivilized, man. And, 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 and let me say this here, man. And as much as a nigga supposed to rejoice about it, a nigga ain't even happy about that, man. That's cold. That just let you know. It's like somebody said earlier, man. Not only right, I know y'all looking at us for guidance. That's why I jump on here and I'm saying, I'm just I'm just speaking so a motherfucker understand that man, we ain't like tripping or acting like this shit been brewing so long it needed to come to a head is how this shit was done on camera because if that wouldn't have came out rose said it itself y'all heard it we would have pushed it under the rug and show young niggas this how you handle this shit right let's stand side by side let's lock arms and let's no matter what we feel about each other after this picture right we gonna do this for the city. So it wasn't Trey that stopped that from happening. It wasn't Roe that stopped that from happening. The nigga who put that fucking video out, I mean, if I'm Roe, I got the crawfish. I got to go tell my side now. Oh yeah. Just like no, I been really? a lot of y'all, because if he'd have got a chance to lie to y'all, you would have been looking at two liars. You feel what I'm saying? So gotcha. if, if it wouldn't have came out, we just would have bit the bullet. They could have got their one behind the scene. They could have did whatever they wanted to do. And then that would have been done. But a motherfucker trying to capitalize robbed us out that opportunity, man. You know what I'm saying? So I just asked that y'all pray for them niggas, man. Like, like this shit could get ugly and it could get real ugly. You know what I'm saying? And a nigga can't do that. What else? Everybody oh, keeps saying, man, saying hold on, let me say this here. Everybody yeah. keeps saying Roe wrong for his interview, Trey wrong for his interview. But what more can them niggas do? They can't go in the street and kill each other, then we so family. Man. So you don't think Roe no Trey mama? You don't think goddamn me uh uh vice versa, you know? If so anything no to Trey do kids, too. Trey yeah. know our kids. It's like, man, bro, that shit would have been cool. But because a motherfucker wanted to make a couple of dollars, that was more important. Because I told the nigga, I said, bro, I would have paid you for that if money meant that much to you. Wow. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, it is what it is, man. But it just killed me when niggas like, man, he snitching or Trey snitching because they on TV. Man, what else can I do? I can't go that nigga. Then the nigga go sit in jail. Everybody be, man, them old ass niggas dumb than a motherfucker. Look how they handle shit. For so say keeping it real. Ro ain't been in the streets in 20 years, man. Rap has been his thing since. Trey ain't been in the streets ever. I and his, and his rap saved him to where, you know what I mean? So come on, <laughs> man. I remember he used to be homeless, man. Yes, man. Like for real, this rap shit saved a bunch of us, man. You know what I'm saying? So a nigga can't go out here and act like a, a buffoon. You know, and entertain that bullshit because guess what? I'm sure Trey didn't want to do that shit, but they ain't seen each other in so long. So, you know, when a nigga see each other, or, or, or you walking up on me and I'm thinking you walking a certain way, 
you know what I'm saying? Or row thinking you talking a certain way and then it just jumped out of control, man. But oh, had, it, had it not been there and had it not been in motherfucking public, man, and had it not been on that camera, this should be over with, bro. Facts. And I'm going to tell you, I want you to understand something, man. And, and, and just for a nigga like me who do this internet shit every day on the media side, this the biggest story ever that I didn't had on my hey, platform. Hey, bro, wow. that's why. But see, I'm not going to talk to nobody else. Wow. You know, period. Because yeah. I just respect, wow. I respect what you do and I respect how you do it. Yeah. And I watched everything, and I wasn't going to say nothing to nobody but sitting here listening to me. I'm hearing pain in y'all voice. And the I, people I, are hurt. Thank y'all, man. For that, right, that's man, you make your voice. See that happen to H Town, man? Man, bro, yeah, regard, no, if, bro. let me tell you something. If that would have been Trey on the ground, I'd be the same kind of man. Exactly, bro. And I feel like would. Y'all would be too. Because everybody would. Like, don't nobody want to see it. So, don't nobody so, want to so, see so, it. Okay. We still like a work in process. A nigga, a nigga 40 going 50, like my boy said, but a nigga still a work in process. We don't come from Ivy Leagues. And you know what I mean? We come from the real streets, man. So it's like, you know, a nigga still working. A nigga just when a nigga get this age, a nigga don't feel it too, bro. Shit happens. But at the same time, how it happens and why it happens, all that matter, man. You know, but I just want nigga to know that, man, this will not end in violence if that's what niggas looking for. No. Man, ain't nobody gonna do nothing. You know what right. I'm saying? Because it ain't gonna happen to Roe or Trey. It'll be a nigga like me or a nigga like somebody next to Trey that, that the bullshit should have happened to because we out more than them niggas. They the bad. We gotta protect the bad. You know what I'm saying? So just, you know, it, that's not how it's going to end. You know what I mean? And let's pray that it end another way. But I would just like it really to go away. But like you said, it's the biggest story this year. I've talked to Odell Beckham, DeAndre Hopkins, Dez Bryant, you know, on and on and on. These people calling on three ways, man. Hey, y'all, all right, man, what's going on? Like, this shit worldwide right now. That's what, because because I'm going to tell you why I went worldwide. Cause it was during that tycoon shit, and then mm -hmm. it'd be like the way it's news sectors, right? Got so it. a certain piece of news can slide in that gap and then get pulled up to the top. Well, hey, mm -hmm. there's too much dramatic going on. Oh, they had a fight down in Houston Tycoon weekend. You got to thank Type Fifty had everybody out here this past weekend. Hey, it was it was going down for so sure. Then once you take that. And then, okay, this is a legend. People don't really realize, like, bro, Zero got fans globally. Oh, yeah. yeah. Sure. Global. A lot of people don't really uh, they, they, Some people still think, oh, Zero, just an H time nigga. Hell <laughs> no, nah, nigga. This nigga global. So when you do put that together, once TMZ picked that shit up, it was a wrap. That first video, they it already started trending on Twitter. Yeah. So when it started trending on Twitter, because – Tycoon Weekend was already trending. So once that started trending with the Pleasure P video. That what I was just going to say. Well, that Pleasure, Pleasure P didn't have a video. It didn't have oh. a video. It was just a fight. Pleasure right, P yeah. and Tony Yayo having a fight. That was trending. But once the other stuff started trending, it's like, okay. Okay, now this video came out. Because first it was just talking the streets, but no video. The first video came out. Once TMZ picked it up. What people don't really realize, Mike D, I try to keep telling them, there's four major forms of entertainment in the world. Four major. One what? is sports, two is music, three is news, and yep. four is film and television. <laughs> music, we run music. Hip hop and rap run music. We the number one genre. Right. We touch two rap and hip hop blogs. You are now the top of the news in the music genre. Mm. It touched Vlad and it touched Say Cheese. Them are two of the top. They got the top four, but them is two out of the top four. I remember but, Vlad used to troll you. Once hey. you <laughs> and, and, then, and then it touched your shit. But P double B, you got damn right, it's gonna touch my shit. That nigga used to troll the hell out of your hey, ass, boy. I had to, hey, two. It touched two out of four. 
So yeah. people that touch two out of four, now TMZ grab it. So yeah. do you know how far that reach is? That reach is far. So not only is this the top discussion in rap and hip hop on plat them platforms, it touched TMZ. Then all the other blogs are gonna follow the ones that don't even have a face to them, like the uh the hip hop DXs, the double XL mags. They all got websites, all that shit getting pushed to Google and it's hitting the analytics. And then now you take it all the way to damn. Everybody talking about this shit now. Zero at this happen. Now zero gotta go talk about it. Got you. Everything on the line, nigga. If I don't go clear this up, I look weak. I'm just on the ground <laughs> curled up, nigga. Well, well, I, it, I mean, the weak part ain't as more important as you hear my voice. Yeah. Like I'm hoarse as a motherfucker you because talk. I've been screaming about this shit and talking about this shit for two days. Yeah. Man, if a nigga understand being somebody. Just imagine how many times your phone rung about it. Now exactly. just imagine the nigga that really happened to. Exactly. They gotta go make a statement, man, so everybody can leave you alone, man. It's just like a that's hey, what man. And hey, that's man, what I my told phone Trey changed this number, Ro changed this number. They had to. And that's what I told everybody. I said, hey man, no matter what he does, he's got to have this conversation. Why not jump out in front of it? Let me know everybody. Let me get it out the motherfucking way so I can go back to living my fucking life without every time somebody see me, they want to know. And then I said, bro, Zero is still an artist. He still does interviews. He still does podcasts. He still talks to people. No yeah, matter who did, it is. He tell every one of them, hey, man, no comment. They not going to want to talk to him no more because everybody want to know what the fuck happened. He got to tell the story. So I was like, hey, man, it is what it is. Wait, it look, is. I, I had, I, I couldn't figure out how to get in your channel. Yeah. And I said, well, maybe it's not meant for me to say nothing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But when I heard you say, man, if Mike D in here, we want to hear it. This ain't just ABN business no more. This ain't nah. what they say, family business no more. This worldwide business. We deserve to know. I said, right. he, he got damn right. I'm gonna right. tell you, I'm gonna tell you something. This is what I want everybody. But they gonna have to pull all the other bloggers. They gonna have to pull this off your shit for my comment. Cause I ain't talking. Nigga, this for the niggas that's here, nigga. There you go. Hey, uh, I, 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 I just, I just wanted to touch your heart because you was over here touching mine, man. Cause everybody else out here, they on some one-sided shit. You know what I'm saying? Let's think about the shit. The sponsors, Trey Lawrence. Let's think about the the, the road can't talk to his baby. Yeah, you were talking about talking that about different shit like that, like this shit crazy, man. And, and and the thing that people gotta understand, man, like I told everybody, the world we live in now, because we're in the age of information. Once it makes it onto a platform, yeah. it is now entertainment. It can be some real street shit. It yeah. can be some niggas dying. It can be some beef. It can be some funny shit. Hey, uh, nigga, it's that. It's it that. Just, time, yeah, it just looks so bad because any other time, man, just a squabble, man. You know what I mean? It just looks so bad yeah. that, that that the jumping and then, you know, it's, it's caught on camera. I don't want that for them niggas. It just looked bad at this point. But I just want niggas to know, too, had that been Trey on the ground, a nigga would have been saying, man, you know, we wrong, too. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, shit happens, man. And a nigga ain't just blowing it in the wind, but it's just like, man, motherfucker act like a nigga can't talk about it. I'm an artist. I'm not a, I'm not a fucking street gang banger, man. Niggas a rapper, man. I gotta use this for my this is my career. If you run a smear campaign on look at look at Mike Jones. No disrespect, man. Shout out Mike Jones. But come on, man. Hey man. A nigga ain't finna be no Mike Jones. Fuck no, he said not, nigga. And Mike Jones were way up there too. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about worldwide, nigga. That's why he can go to Europe and eat. Because out there they don't know what happened. They just know they, who Mike Jones, who? That bitch still living. But nah, we here. This where we make our money. Ain't nobody finna, uh-uh. Nah, ain't no Mike Jones and a nigga riding here. That's for sure. And see, and I, and I think, man, too, 
what people don't what people don't feel around they don't know how to take the words in what niggas is saying zero zero went on there and said my job people don't understand that when he say my job nigga this is my job I they have think it's a game this. they think this is by chance or, or luck nigga this is a nigga real occupation man. it's a job nigga he got a job that he gotta protect nigga and then he made it very clear i'm not going to the authorities nigga man you know we don't do that niggas ain't that's what killed me it. it's yeah. because trey didn't get arrested Hell Cody no. get arrested you have to you can't even call me a snitch if you ain't got no paperwork so every nigga saying they're snitching really need to be held accountable if they got real homies around them you can't you you can't use that word lightly i told you know what me I mean? you can't walk that in, hey man a nigga a snitch like bro where the paperwork who in jail what you mean i mm. talked on the tv fool ass nigga it's on youtube nigga everybody tv fool ass boy it's everywhere you know what i'm saying like what the fuck? i ain't supposed to say nothing about me niggas, man, man. Fuck that. Like, uh, and, and, and not, uh, you know, and, time and, heal everything, man. And and to get back on bro, them, that's exactly what they did. Trey created his circle without Ro. Ro created his circle without Trey. But they both succeeded, man. So, like, to see this shit here, man, is devastating because fuck the money we can make. A nigga thinking about what, what, what screw saying. Yeah. And it's crazy, man. What, nah, right now. Somebody pimp, hit her. Losing pimp the fucking mind right now, boy. What the fuck, pimp saying? Pimp would be losing his mind right now if this shit went down. Nigga, like, hey, nigga, y'all nigga lost y'all goddamn mind. You know how pimp is, and, nigga. And it, it's crazy, pimp. you know that. And did you ever meet pimp? Never met him. That's exactly what you just said, and I heard you say it earlier when you had the shirt on. I said, boy, this young nigga must have met pimp or something. Yeah. Hey man, that's exactly what he would have said. Man, y'all need to get that fuck ass shit, man. I had to pull the shirt off oh, for Pimp, man. Oh no. He grew up on that shit, man. Young nigga, five years old, listening to dry and dirty. I'm going to tell you another one that would have been that big Hulk, man. That's Hulk, what everybody uh, say, Hulk, too. Hey man, Hulk would have been yeah. going crazy right now. Man, I had to make that post on the gram with Pimp C. Nigga, Hulk loved Trey, and he loved the shit I wrote too. Mm. Boy, that that would have broke him apart. I don't think it would have happened. Man, you don't want to let this this man in our day. It was two motherfuckers you didn't want to let down. That were Robert Earl Davis and John Hawkins, boy. The look them, the daddy look them niggas give you when you fuck up, boy. Man, I'll break you into a million pieces, man. Real talk, man. You never wanted to, man, you never wanted to let them niggas down. So that's why the shit more depressing than anything, man, is because this we're not gonna close the book like this here. A nigga can't wow. keep going forever. A nigga define the laws of gravity with this pushing 50 shit. You know what I'm saying? Like a nigga still relevant. We still this relevant now. God dog. Man, man, it's this time, is crazy, man. time to, to, to get to the end of the chapter, but it can't be like this here, man. It got to be a big win for the city, man. Niggas sick and tired of Houston losing, man. That's how we do. We get a football, half a football team. We trade everybody. We get a half a basketball team. We trade everybody. We get a baseball team. They go back to back, and then we get everything. We get caught cheating. You know what I'm saying? Same with the rappers, bro. We create DJ Screw. We create Pimp C. And we lose them. It's time to stop losing, bro. That's why a nigga ain't thinking about, boy. It ain't, it, 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 it was just a fight, man. But just imagine if it would have went another way with the young nigga energy into this shit. Y'all would really be cussing our old ass out. Nah, for real. That shit would have went real left. You heard your homie on there earlier. Man, these niggas supposed to be OGs, man. What they doing? I don't know if he was on here when he was saying that shit. Hey, you heard that shit. He was made like, man, these niggas supposed to be OGs, man. What the fuck they doing? They wonder why we don't respect them, nigga. They doing what the fuck we doing? Like, I doubt that young nigga who said that because I heard him. And that's what made me start. Hey, I'm in here. What's up? Like, <laughs> hey, that's what did it. So salute that young nigga. I hope he hear this, man. 
hey man, I'm sorry. You know what I mean? Like to everybody, bro. And, and from them, from both of them, man. Man, I'm sorry this shit went on like this here, man. But I just want everybody to know, along with the energy, however you feel it, feel it. If you're a trade, if you for trade, that's fine. If you go, that's even better. But let's keep that equal energy for the bitch ass nigga who put that shit out and made a couple of dollars because them be the problems. When niggas not jumping in, nobody jumped in and say, hey man, stop this. Y'all tripping. Okay, you don't want to get in it, yell. Man, y'all tripping, y'all tripping. Yell, anything to help a nigga out, but you got your phone out. That's the problem with the world today. We don't want to help nobody. We want to record it so we can laugh at you. You know what I'm saying? But when it's you on the ground, we sat here and watched George Floyd, R.I.P., my brother, man. I'm talking about them people, man. Watch that man die. Watch that policeman kill him because it was more important to film it. Like if Roe would have died out there, man, and the nigga would have had that big footage, he still would have sold it. But that's how bullshit, money thirsty, money hungry, fame thirsty, we are. Just to say we relevant, man. It's pitiful, man. It's sad, man. And I hope everything can work out, man. I want to say one thing, man. It was one show y'all niggas had. Uh, it was a row show. And it was about 2014, 50, 50, 2000, maybe 15. Nah, it had to be, had to be four, 13, 14 at Fitzgerald's. I remember that. Was a, and y'all was on, and that was a bad motherfucker. It was an all white crowd. Me and and my, that's what I was just to say. It wasn't a black person in the game. It was an all, we didn't know it was going to be like that. It, it was a nigga we know that was opening up. Be right before row, I think like uh, one yeah, it was it was somebody went on. I think I went on. I know they went on. Then I went on. Then row went on. Yeah, y'all was performing yeah. together, man. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We did it together. Y'all yeah. yeah, did it together, man. That bitch <laughs> was live, man. I was like, damn. It was like 2013, 2014. Yeah, I, had, nigga. I, had I, had just got out of, yeah, I had just got out of prison right then. That's crazy. No shit. Yeah, it was like. Like probably a few months before that. That's crazy. But uh yeah, you're right. Man, that motherfucker was live. We was in the mix, in the crowd, man. It was going down my first time going in there. Oh no. First man. time going in that motherfucker. I don't know my nigga BP he up in the chat. He had told me, man, let's go to this this zero show tonight. He said it was 2014. We had a hell of a night that night, man. It was